U Manila, the Humanities and Social Sciences strand does not limit its students to merely their creativity and artistry, but also their critical thinking abilities by the means of specialized subjects such as disciplines and ideas in social sciences, world religions, understanding culture and politics, and philosophy. Science and technology, engineering and mathematics is a strand that focuses not only in finding the X and Ys in a mathematical equation, but also the students' very own logical and rational thinking abilities. This is practiced with specialized subjects such as disaster readiness and risk reduction and general chemistry. Accountancy, business and management. This is a ticket to the corporate world, as I call it. In this strand, you don't need to have the brain of a mad genius or so. You just need the interest and passion. Here in LPU, it's mainly focused to enhance one's logical thinking and visualizing the different outcome of every step. Every step we take when handling a business. The specialized subjects here in my strand are accounting, principles of marketing, and business management.
LPU. Choose LPU. Choose LPU. We at Senior High, we score high. Good morning, Lyceans, baby pirates, teachers, and most especially our guests from other schools. The grade 10 students. I'm sure some parents are also with us right now and would like you to know that your presence is important to us. We are glad that we are gathered today for this learning encounters at LPU Manila. We from Lycia of the Philippines University are excited to share with you how learning in our very own senior high school is made unforgettable. So sit back and relax, listen and enjoy the fan. You know that prizes await you. I now give the virtual floor to our MCs this morning. Let's get up for David and Ira. Thank you, Sir JR. To all our participants today, this webinar's privacy notice is now posted on the chat box. Also, please be informed that this webinar is being recorded for documentation purposes and may be re-uploaded on the official website and other social media accounts of the university. Should you have privacy concerns, please do not hesitate to contact the organizers or send an email to privacy.manila at lpu.edu.ph. So to start our program, we will have our opening prayer to be followed by the singing of our Philippine National Anthem. Let's all bow our heads and feel the presence of the Lord. Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Dear Father, we offer everything and thank you for everyone gathered here today to walk with you. May, may we ask you for your blessings and guidance so that the activities set for this undertaking be successful. We may ask you to open our eyes to see the wonderful things for this and for, from this activity. We ask you to open our ears so that we may retain the invaluable knowledge. Open our minds for us to think wisely. Put us with understanding cooperation and peace in fulfilling our responsibility. Open our hearts so that we may receive your everlasting love and open our spirits so that we may know that you are with us throughout all the day. We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Once again, good day, baby pirates, and all our guests 
students from other schools. We all welcome you to the learning encounter at LPU Manila via Zoom. We are gathered here today to guide you on the next chapter of your life, which is senior high school. And we are excited to share with you why you should choose Lyceum of the Philippine University as your best option. Adaira, how are you today? Okay lang. <laughs> one year na, one year na tayong nakakulo sa bahay natin. Yes, stay at home again. Uh, baka may gusto kang sabihin sa mga nanonood sa atin, Ate Aira? So, kayo ba guys? Kamusta naman kayo dyan? Sana okay lang din kayo physically and emotionally. And hanggat maaari, always stay at home lang tayong lahat. Kasi kung hindi naman natin kailangan lumabas. Kasi kahit one year na tong pandemic, sumisipa pa rin yung cases natin sa 15K. Uy, at syempre, lagi kayong mag-alcohol, face mask, and yung face mask yung natatakpan pati yung ilong ha. Tsaka, syempre, mag-social distancing kapag lalabas. Oh yun. Eh, kamusta naman, Ate Ara, yung experience mo this online class? Kasi nga, di ba, uh, nag-switch tayo into new normal. Kamusta naman experience? Kasi alam ko, may mga bago kang natutunan na experience at mga natutunan na lesson about this pandemic. Ayun, kahit online class, ano, hindi ko yung expect na sa LPU ko. Ang dami ko naranasan sa LPU na first time ko. As in, mm-hmm. lalo na yung public speaking, kung mahiyain ka, talagang lalabas ka sa comfort zone mo. Ganun. Yun. Okay, uh, sa akin naman, napaka-alay, napaka-agenda dito sa LPU. Lalo yung mga teacher natin kasi napaka-millennial nila. Nakikirate sila sa mga, ano natin, no? sa mga job natin. So, shout out sa mga classmates ko dyan at saka sa mga teachers natin dyan. Ate Aira, baka may gusto ka na yung shout out bago natin i-cut to. Uh, shout out sa 11 Penfield. Mm-hmm. Shout out sa 11 Confucius dyan. Okay, let's cut this off. And we may call on the ever hardworking senior high school principal to welcome us all. Ms. Clarence Ella D. Alipio. Good morning, our dear students, and I'm sure there are parents who are also with us today. I am glad to welcome you all in this um, learning encounters at Lyceum of the Philippines University, Manila. Whatever chores you're doing at home right now, please just keep us in the background, okay? Well, having all of you today is so much appreciated. You know, this pandemic really did not hamper us in our pursuit to continue providing quality education. And today, as we present to you our own students in their experiential sharing, we would like you to appreciate that whatever difficulties we face these days, we must choose to do what is best for our kids. I know we've been through tough times when this crisis started, but the good thing is that we've seen how our own sons and daughters perform in their studies. We also get to know more about their hidden talents and potentials, and even their study habits that we were not able to notice before. So today you will learn from the experiences of our own students about how they enjoy their senior high school life and how they cope with the challenges before and during the pandemic. The full online and modular instruction now is the new normal that everybody has already adjusted with. You know, we were able to provide virtual graduation in July last year, and there will be another virtual graduation again this year, uh, whether you like it or not, guys. (laughs) Okay, so you know, if some think of this challenge as a nightmare, We also have to look at the brighter side that our students may not notice. But you know, they have become more knowledgeable and responsible in using technology. Uh, They have embraced the proper use of Microsoft offices. They learned how to create their own videos. They became more adept in navigating the e-learning platform instead of spending more time on online games. They even invented some innovations at home. They learned how to cook and even cleaning their own bedroom. These are important skills that will prepare them for bigger responsibilities in the future. 
So when this pandemic ends, they're already tech savvy and prepared to apply for a job, you know, as early as after senior high school. So, you know, that's just my simple realization and sharing that I hope you were also able to observe amid these uh, trying times, okay? So that would be it. I hope you will stay until the end of the program and you know prizes await you. So have fun listening. Thank you so much and uh, uh, please stay safe always. Are you know? Thank you, Ms. Clarence, for your encouraging remarks. And now, let's hear a message from our Senior High School Lyceum Central Student Government Organization or our Lycesco President. Mr. Kyle Benedict Genovis. A pleasant day to all fellow students, schoolmates, parents, teachers, and elders staff who are in this event. The present situation we are currently facing suddenly shifted us from our usual interactions to the use of various technological innovations. From the whistling boiling pot to our whistling snore, from the tweet of the birds to the tweet of our parents, from our bustling streets and honking horns to bustling meetings and incoming video halls. With this perspective, we had lived in a few new normal setups yet still learning and learning from what we are experiencing right now. No student have ever graduated without life struggles and hindrance as we continue our distance learning. Most of us certainly experienced unsatisfactory internet service, yet mainly because of the poor signal connectivity but yet we continue to hone ourselves from the realm of reality. Perhaps some or most of us this pandemic had not brought so much luck due to the unexpected occurrences. For instance, our healthcare system is still tested to the great extent. With this, it brought light to the health professionals to assess those existent measures and further improve it if it is a necessity. This is also the same as our learning approaches. We continuously gain knowledge and expand it more particularly in our technological literacy skills. We are able to develop our technological competency and utilize it to present our ideas even in a distance learning setup. As we embark on a new chapter of our generation, we have adopted a new set of skills that will help us propel ourselves to the world of the future. By this, we are seeking those individuals who will encourage the younger generation to be a propellant of the future. We are seeking those who can lead and share the journey to success so that many people will follow. And now we are asking, are you that student that the LP hopes to find to help the Lycian community grow and well founded by knowledge? Well, it is for you to find out in order to gain knowledge and better use it in the real world application. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I am grateful for me to be here. Enjoy the rest of the event and have a great day. Thank you very much, Mr. Kyle, for your encouraging message to our fellow students. I now give the virtual floor to Mr. Chris J for this announcement. Mr. Chris J. To all of you, especially to our visitors for this event. We are pleased to welcome you here virtually at the Lyceum of the Philippines University Manila campus. You are excited to see the learning experiences that every Lyceum encountered, especially in times of pandemic. But before that, let us believe in their saying na the ignang magap ang masipag, and there is also a saying the early bird catches the worm, meaning that the person who takes the earliest opportunity to do something will gain over others. So that, as mentioned earlier. There are prizes awaits you. 
So as you can see in your screen, I'll be announcing the early bird winners. But before that, the winners will be receiving GCash, but with two conditions. With two conditions. First, the winners must stay until the program ends. Sana all, nag stay Gaya ng iba dyan, pag nakuha na ang gusto, umaalis na. Kaya mag-stay tayo hanggang matapos ang program. Lastly, visit our official Facebook page, LPU Manila, sin uh, LPU Manila SHS and the SHS Lyceum Central Student Government and do not forget to hit the like button. Gaya ng pag-like ninyo sa mga crush nyo. So, without further ado, it is my pleasure to present to you the five winner for the five lucky winners of Early Bird Award. Kumapit ng maipit upang ang jowa nyo ay hindi masungkit. So, here, here we go. The first Early Bird Award goes to Miss Arabel Gagani. Congratulations. So the next Early Bird Award goes to Miss Bianca Aquino. The third receiver of Early Bird Award and will be receiving a GCash prize goes to Miss Daisy Marque Raton. Congratulations. Our fourth receiver of Early Bird Award. Goes to Mr. Gabriel Cortez. Last but not the least, the five or the fifth receiver of Early Bird Award goes to Gwen Centeno. Congratulations to our five lucky winners of Early Bird Award. So our five lucky uh, lucky winners of Early Bird Award is Arabel Gagadi, Bianca Aquino, Daisy Marqueraton, Gabriel Cortez and Green Centeno. Congratulations to our five, uh, five winners. So later we will give further instructions on how to receive your GCash prize. Once again, do not forget our, our two conditions and enjoy the rest of the program. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chris. Ayan. Congratulations by the way sa mga early bird winner natin at Unang pasabog pa lang yan, Ate Ira. Meron pa tayong more surprises to come mamaya-maya lamang. At ano pa bang inaantay natin? Okay. Ate Ira, wait lang. Bago natin yung uh, first speaker natin, kanina kasi sa opening, ngayon lang, lang, ngayon lang tayo nakapagsalita eh. Kanina sa opening, nagsabi si Miss Clarence, so kamusta pala yung e-learning experience mo? The M-Rooms. M-Rooms? Mm -hmm. uh... Wala, first time ko kasing ano, first time kong may experience yung ganit. Ay, first time natin lahat may experience. Even so, me. Mm -hmm. Ano, uh, medyo nakaka-pressure yung synchronous and asynchronous, pero very considerate ang mga teachers. Mm -hmm. Napaka-professional, sabi, sabi ko naman sa'yo, di ba? Okay, okay na ba? Wait. Okay, at this juncture, we are very excited to listen to our first speaker. She is, Ate Aira, go ahead. She is a present grade 11 Hume student of LPU Senior High School Academic Year 2020-2021. Incumbent Senior High School License Go Vice President Academic Year 2020-2021. Editorial writer at the Lycian Pioneer Academic Year 2020-2021. Graduated as top three of the batch during her junior high school years. Former editor-in-chief on her junior high school year, let's call on Ms. K.B. Yanogasho. A pleasant morning, everyone. Again, my name is Cable Saki Negasho, and today I will share my learning encounters or learning experiences during academic year 2020 to 2021 at Lyceum, the Philippines University, Manila. 
So yes, I would like to apologize first since due to my connectivity issues, unfortunately, I cannot open my camera. I'm afraid that it would cause technical problems later. And tech problems are the least thing we want to happen. Before I formally start my talk, in this time of hardship, where everyone experiencing the effects of this pandemic, I hope that you and your family are in great condition. I wish that each and every one of you are in good health and situation, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. With that, without further ado, let us now start our discussion. Now, para hindi naman tayo maligaw during the sharing and for us to be guided, these are my key points for today. Number one, online learning tools, Microsoft Teams, and my LPU. Number two, requirements compliance. Number three, school organizations. Number four, online act services like counseling, e-library, and webinars. And last but not the least, the specialized subjects per strand. With that, let us now proceed to the first one. The first learning encounter I will share is about online learning tools we use, such as Microsoft Office applications and my LPU or our model rooms. Ngayon, bakit ko piniling unahin ng online learning tools? I choose to share this first because since we are entirely online based right now, these applications act as literally our classroom. Kumbaga, ito yung digital classroom natin. And anong bang nangyayari sa classroom? Everything academic related happen within these applications. Now, as we can see in the current slide, this is the logo of Microsoft Office. LPU is a Microsoft recipient. Kaya our application is entirely under Microsoft Office. And that is just wonderful. Since free Microsoft Office software, when you enroll in LPU, kasama sa tuition yung free Microsoft Office software. This includes Outlook, OneDrive, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, MS Teams, and other application. And based on my experience, Microsoft is also good in terms of data usage. For example, you have no Wi-Fi connection and you are just relying on data connection. Kapag ginamit mo yung Microsoft Teams using your data connection, hindi ganun karami yung kinoconsume yung data. And with that, makakatipid ka pa. And my, all Microsoft applications are also available in your mobile phones. Now, moving on with our Moodle Rooms or my LPU. Next slide, please. This is where we can find all of our subject courses. Katulad na nakikita natin ngayon sa slide, this is a screenshot of my LPU module. Mahigitan nyo yung subject course ko sa gitna and sa gilid yung mga deadlines and other important matters. Nandito yung modules, PowerPoint presentations na ginamit and also the VCD recording itself. So in case na nagkaroon na kami ng synchronous activity or synchronous call and hindi ako nakaabot or hindi ako naka-attend, hindi ko kailangan mag-worry since yung buong VCD ay recorded and it will be posted later on on our My LPU. Now, for the next slide. So, ito, zinom in ko lang yung deadlines and feedback section ng My LPU namin. So, ano nga ba ang pinaka-summarize ng aking My LPU Learning Tools and Microsoft PowerPoint? Ang pinapano ko dito is those applications are easy to navigate and control. Meaning, hindi mo kailangan maging tech-savvy or pinaka-tech person para ma-navigate and ma-control yung application. Makakatulong to since kahit naman na isang taon na tayong entirely online-based, marami pa rin mga tao ang hindi nakakasunod or nahihirapan mag-control ng mga application na to. But if you are using Microsoft applications and the My LPU, hindi mo na dapat problemahin yon. Then, speaking of, pakibalik po sa previous slides, thank you. Then, speaking about Moodle Rooms, nandun din yung requirements natin. Dumako na tayo sa requirements compliance. Hindi makukompleto ang learning experiences kung kakalimutan natin ang pagpapasa ng requirements. Now, sa requirements compliance naman, ito yung mga na-experience ko or na-notice ko with my almost one year at LPU. Number one, meron kaming one to two weeks compliance period. Ano ba tong compliance period na to? Ano bang importance na ito sa learning encounters namin? 
So during this time frame, walang synchronous classes so that our time will be purely allotted on making and complying to our requirements. Number two, clear requirements instruction. Instructions in the My LPU, doon nakalagay lahat ng instructions about the activity and doon din siya ipapasa. Katulad na nga lang nung pinakita ko kayo Nina, nandoon yung reminder kung kailan yung deadline and kung nabigyan ka na ba ng feedback ng inyong instructor. And meron din pong calendar sa other section ng My LPU para mas makita mo in full view kung ano nga ba yung mga dapat mong ipasa within the following days. So last but not the least, understanding and accommodating professors. Guys, this is not sugar-coated. Totoong-totoo na naramdaman ko mismo based on my experience on how understanding and accommodating the teachers are in LPU. The teachers are all understanding and aware of the limits of technology and internet connections. They understand that we do not control those variables and that it is not our fault if nagkaroon man ng issue about our devices and our connection. Ang example nito is, during our quarterly examinations, ayan ang pinaka-isa sa mga importanteng parte ng ating grades, the quarterly exam. Kapag quarterly examination, syempre yung iba synchronous and yung iba asynchronous. During our synchronous classes, sabay-sabay kami magsasagot sa my LPU. And paano kung bigla ka nagkaroon ng error during, during the exam? Or, o kaya nawalan ka ng internet bago mag-exam kaya hindi ka nakasagot. With that, ang LPU, meron, meron kami tinatawag na special examination kung saan pwede, mo, pwede kang mag-take ng other ex examination sa specific day na ibibigay ng instruction kung hindi ka nakapag-take on the first day. Now, moving on to our eighth slide. Despite being entirely online set up, one of my favorite LPU encounters is that the school organizations are still active and running. Personally, I am part of two, which are SHS Licesgo and Lycian Pioneer. And both organizations help me enhance my skills even in online setup. So as you can see on the current slide, here are the following school organizations at Lyceum, the Philippines University Manila Senior High School. For the first logo, this is the SHS Lysisco or the official student government of Lyceum SHS. Second one is the SHS Loves. Sila naman yung in charge when it comes to donation in kind or money monetary. And ngayon, kahit within the pandemic, active na active pa rin sila. For example, last November 2020, kung iti-check yung kanilang Facebook account, makikita nyo na tumulong sila sa mga victims ng Typhoon Ulysses. And for the third one, the Cerberus Sports Club. And no, kung sa tingin nyo, ay, sports club to, baka mamaya hindi na to active during the pandemic since online naman tayo lahat. You are wrong. If you are, if you are going to check their report or annual report, makikita nyo yung kanilang mga ginawang contributions and activities during the pandemic kahit online man yan. And for the next one, the Lycian Pioneer or the official student publication of our school. Now, sa Lycian Pioneer, sa mga nanonood natin dyan na journalists, writers, and aspiring journalists, ito yung makakatulong sa inyo to enhance your skills and to showcase your talent. And sa next one is the Lyceum Debate Society and the Bearers of Music Club. The Bearers of Music Club from the word itself, ito naman yung para sa mga music lovers dyan if you love instrument, you sing, and other things related to music. And last one is the LPU Likha for our aspiring out artists out there. Active organizations amid this pandemic are important as it allows us to still practice and enhance our skills and talents. Moreover, school organizations grant us an opportunity to connect and socialize with other people such as our schoolmates. For the next one, other online services. These are the other online services provided by the LPU SHS during this online, online setup. Number one, access to online libraries or e-libraries. So dito, since online set at nga tayo, hindi tayo pinapayagan na lumabas or dumalo or magpunta sa mga physical libraries ng school natin. Pero hindi na yan problema since nag, based on my experiences, meron kaming mga online libraries or e-libraries kung saan pwede kaming mag-search 
or kumuha ng mga reference na kailangan namin para sa aming mga requirements. And hindi mo na kailangan problem, problemahin kung paano ba i-access tong libraries na to or e-libraries since nagkaroon din kami ng webinar about dito kung paano i-navigate and i-control ang libraries and e-libraries. Next one is the free online counseling. This is very important since we all know that during this pandemic, it has affected more aspects of our lives than we could have imagined. Kasama na dito yung ating mental and emotional health. With free online counseling, magkakaroon tayo ng chance to share or para ma-share ma, ma natin yung problems natin sa isang therapist and mabigyan niya tayo ng professional advice kung ano yung pwede natin gawin and ma-ease yung nararamdaman natin. So for the last one, nagkaroon din kami ng webinars governed by expert speakers. Nangyari ito nung first quarter namin kung saan nagkaroon kami ng iba't ibang klaseng webinars per subject na nakakatulong sa amin para mag magdagdag ng information and knowledge. So last but not the least, my favorite learning encounter or experience is with my specialization sub subject or elective. And ano nga ba yung mga tinutukoy kong specialization? Next, please. So these are the following specializations I am referring to. Basay, so for the specialized subjects per strand, the first one is STEM. Merong dalawa doon, which is Health Sciences and Robotics. Sa UMS naman, may Foreign Language and Freehand and Multimedia Arts. And the last one, sa ABM, meron tayong tatlo, which are Culinary, Tourism, and Business Management. Unahin na natin pag-usapin ng Basic Nihongo or Foreign Language since ito yung specialization ko. In Basic Nihongo, we study the Japanese language alongside the culture of Japan itself. Some of our lessons include Japanese culture, proper greetings, salutations, introducing yourself in Japanese, Japanese particles, basic sentence patterns, verb conjugations, telling time, and hiragana writing. I have extreme interest with learning new languages, and that's why I really love my specialization. Moreover, learning a new language is extremely helpful, not just for our future careers and professions, but also for our personal growth and interest. And also, additionally, according to the article by ACTFL organization, they said, and I quote, learning a new language improves memory, problem solving, and critical thinking skills, enhance concentration, ability to multitask, and better listening skills. And now, with the current slide, makita nyo isa itong example ng VCD namin during our class. And next, please. Dito naman makita yung sample output namin. Ito yung pinag-aaralan namin yung Japanese particles. And yung performance task namin, nag-i-include nag siya ng video presentations. So parang kahit online base na-sure or na-e-ensure ng teacher na natututo talaga kami mga estudyante kung paano ba magsalita ng Japanese, like tamang pronunciation and stresses. Now, after talking about my specialization, basic Nihongo, let us now proceed to the freehand and multimedia arts. And now I give the stage to Ms. Crisa Rica Blanca to share his learning encounters and learning experiences about her specialization. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, Kay. So for everyone who's watching, both Tagalayseum and both my Hindi pa Tagalayseum. Good morning. I am Chris Rico Blanca, the current president of the only freehand animation class in LPU Senior High School. And I'm here to let you guys know more about our elective. So I'm pretty sure that, you know, LPU is known for its tourism and culinary. And iilan lang siguro ang nakakaalam na meron kaming art elective. So I am... Here to tell you guys more about it. So for the first one, nung grade 11, nagkaroon kami ng freehand drawing wherein it teaches us the basic shapes, the human structure, the complex realism. But we didn't stop just with drawing. Kasi ngayong grade 12, we moved on to 2D animation wherein it taught us essential animation movements, katulad ng pagtakbo, paglakad, and we also made our character designs and more. So ito, these are just some examples of the plates I made. So, kukwentoan ko kaya about our freehand drawing experiences. People would usually think that, ay, 
siguro madali lang yan kasi lahat naman kayo artist, di ba? Well, to be honest, if not most, well, half of our class, actually, hindi sila artist. Hindi sila nagdi-drawing in the first place. Kasi, di ba, ang sinasabi is freehand and multimedia art. So, most of them are photographers, videographers, graphic designers. However, as we say it, sa klase namin, we joke around, magic. Kasi lahat kami, natuto kaming mag-drawing. Even the ones with zero drawing skills. Ngayon, they're actually already posting their works online. And I'm very, very proud of my classmates. Next is here, sa aming traditional 2D animation. As you can see, this is our teacher teaching us via a YouTube video made by himself. So, etong pandemic, we had a traditional 2D animation, and definitely it was not easy. Siyempre, 2D animation, we have to have um, equipment, and nahirapan kayo magpadala nun initially since magkakaiba kami ng layo ng bahay. However, hard work really do pay off kasi dito rin na-test yung pagtutulungan namin magkakaklase. And as you can see, tinuturuan kami ng teacher namin via our MyLPU, which is, I would want to note, hindi lang siya basta may kita sa website, MyLPU also have an app. So, para madali sa mga students, you can just download the app, you can have it on your phone, you can open it anytime. So, if you're wondering, sino nga ba tong teacher na to na nakaturo sa mga kaklase kong hindi marunong mag-drawing at all to people who can draw and animate as well? Well, he is an artist and an animator. He has worked with GMA for TV, cinema special effects, and prosthetics. And he is also a Tesla accredited trainer and assessor, Mr. Ruben Abelardo. And if you're wondering, bakit merong poster na One Piece at Sailor Moon dito? Gusto ko lang ba ilagay yan, Nope. I am proud to tell you that our animation teacher is one of the original Filipino animators ng One Piece and ng Sailor Moon noong kasagsaga nito. So definitely, you have a teacher na merong experience at nabibigay niya sa inyo. But I'm not gonna tell you more about it kasi you should come to LPU to experience what being under Mr. Ruben is like. So that's it. Thank you very much. And I will be giving the stage to our next speaker, Mr. Batan. Take it away. Okay. So, hi everyone, I am Jean Batan, and I am currently a grade 12 student and the class leader of STEM Health Science Quiet. And basically, I'm also here to talk about my strat or our strat. So, STEM strat specialized in health science gears towards a specific specialization, particularly health scientists. So, the difference from other strats is that it prepares aspiring healthcare or medical practitioners directing towards their preferred courses already. Here in this strand, we don't only focus on fitting up ourselves with book-based knowledge, but we always make it a point to learn how to apply it in real-life situations. So basically, here in this strand, hindi lang kami nag-focus on, on gaining more knowledge about our course or about our strand. We are also trying to put it into practical assessments or practical applications. So each semester unveils different difficulty level. But I am really sure that you will really enjoy it since you would want to pursue medical-related courses in the future. Um, quick story. Well, back then in grade 11, we had lots of activities and we learned lots of um, medical terminologies. So imagine in grade 11, we've already learned these things na until now we're we're still using those kahit na grade, grade 12 na kami. And although there were several restrictions since the pandemic started, whereas the previous batch actually did a lot of activities as well where they had their own scrub suits and even did clinical duties, well, it was actually one of the most awaited parts of being a health science student. But hey, learning and enjoying wasn't a problem. Um, as you can see on our next slide, so we were still able to do practical assessments such as learning how to take vital signs and doing medical interviews during our, during our PCD. And we did it to one of our household members for a couple of days. So I can still remember how much we needed to retake our videos 
since my sister and I were laughing all throughout the video whenever we make eye contact. So parang dito, makikita nyo na we're actually doing practical assessment and na-apply namin talaga siya in real life situation. So hindi lang siya naging vital for me na nalaman ko siya and I could pass this. Chan, but speaking for my own experience, it was really worth learning. I mean, there were really challenges, but just by holding a stethoscope and taking our patient's blood pressure, I just can't explain how fun and inspiring it was that imagining one day we'll really be doing this stuff to our own patient. So parang yung idea pa lang na we're doing this at this age, na grade 12 pa lang kami, nakakagawa na kami ng iba't ibang, uh, or nakaka-experience na kami ng iba't ibang activities na pwede namin may experience in the future when we are already doctors. So parang nakakabigay na siya ng inspiration to us to pursue it more and to strive even more. So there's still a lot of lots of things that you will be learning in STEM health science. So as you can see, ito yung pictures ng um here are the pictures of grade 12 STEM health science wyeth. So hindi kami kumpleto dito, but I mean the experience was really fun and I hope you will really enjoy this. So I'm sure you'll enjoy, especially when you want to pursue medical-related courses in the future. So again, this is Jean Batan, and I would like to say, Padayan Future Doctor and Doctorate. God bless and stay safe. Thank you very much, Mr. Batan. We will be giving the stage to the next speaker. Take it away. Thank you. Um, everyone. My name is Ernesto R. Katabi III, a.k.a. Lucky Katabay from Grade 12, Archimedes. So, when you hear LPU, the first that comes to our mind is most definitely not robotics. I know because this was what I had felt years ago. As I enrolled, I had no idea what was in store for me. Would the teachers be nice? Would the education be good enough? I didn't know. So, based on my experience, studying robotics is really satisfying. Despite its difficulty, learning it gets better as you begin to understand how to code and assemble an output. Truth be told, studying robotics in a face-to-face -face setting is much easier to learn compared to virtual classrooms. Some can learn and adapt fast, while others don't, but just the same. It still, I think it still depends on the student if they really want to learn. Self-studying is one of the best ways to get through that. Regardless the robotics curriculum at LPU, live up to my expectations, and I'm grateful for the opportunity here. Uh, next slide, please. Thank you. Uh, so, I was able to meet such amazing people who were passionate. I've seen how hard they work to achieve something. I also was able to learn new concepts and understand the importance of each block of code. I've worked with components and codes too. However, not everything was smooth sailing. There were even times when I would stay up late, just fixing and debugging the codes. It was, the, it was tiring, draining, and completely mind-breaking. But I knew that this is what I love and that I can do it. The course may not be easy, but I was able to learn a lot. I guess success and failure depends more on your mental attitude than your mental capacity. With LPU, I knew I made the right choice to enroll. It honed my skill and helped me grow as an individual and as a future architect or computer engineering. And that is, that I, uh, that is my experiences of STEM strand of robotics. Thank you and good morning. Thank you very much. Now we, sh we shall move on to the next elective culinary. Take it away. 
Good morning, everyone. Can I be uh, heard loud and clear? I hope I am. Good morning, everyone. My name is Clarice Ricoblanca, and I was the Lyceum of the Philippines University ABM representative for the years 2019 and 2020, and is the president of the culinary classes Bridgestone and Balmer for two years. So, ko andito kayo, guys. Hello, shout out sa inyo. And so, I grew up in a family of mostly doctors and engineers. And when I was younger, I would tell them that I would want to be a chef. And most of them would look at me funny and just tell me to just make it a hobby and quote unquote aim higher. And because of that, unfortunately, when I was enrolling for senior high school, I already had STEM medicine to take in mind. However, when I saw what Lyceum can offer for culinary aspirants like us, it reminded me why I fell in love with my passion in the first place. So next slide, please. Being a culinary student in Lyceum gave me opportunities I never thought I'll have as early as 17. Imagine cooking in a professional industrial kitchen in the infamous Bayleaf Hotel, serving the heads of the senior high school department the gourmet food that we prepared, feeling the heat from the kitchen, memorizing the recipes, and the chaos to provide orders within the time limit makes all of us feel alive. I had the chance to meet wonderful people who has the same passion as mine and also got the chance to have a full five-course meal from time to time kasi sobrang dami naming naluluto, I swear. And with that being said, pro tip para sa mga bagong dayuhan, magdala kayo ng Tupperware ng mga nanay ninyo kasi the more Tupperware, the more food na take out and the better. But you might think, ano ba yan, Clarice, may pandemic ngayon. So, paano kayong skill-based electives? Well, it was tough to be honest because our experience in the kitchen was cut short. But now, during online classes, with the help of our synchronous and asynchronous classes and my LPU, we are able to focus more on our knowledge and ethics, building our own business plans, and learning various kitchen terms, tools, and interesting ingredients to use. I believe that these knowledges are just as important as the skills we learned within the face-to-face -face classes. We were also taught this pandemic to create gourmet dishes out of everyday simple delatas. And personally, I have been using the knowledge I got from my professors in creating dishes for my family. Some may think that online classes may be boring for us culinary students, but our teachers will provide uh, uh, best and creative interactive contents to hone our skills. So as you can see in the PowerPoint presentation, these are just some of my um, experimentations with food for my family. And not gonna lie, I can go on and on, but I think I'll just leave you guys uh, the rest to discover here at LPU. So if you want to be handled by the best and be in the best environment, I think it is pretty safe, safe to say that you should choose LPU Senior High School ABM Culinary because here, your passion for the culinary arts will hone you to be your best and lead you to the career of your dreams. Yun lamang po, padayan to our future chefs and good morning. Thank you very much, Clarice, for all who does not know. Kambal ko po yan. Yes po. Even though we're twins, we have different electives. So I'm giving the stage to the next speaker. Take it away. Hello, good. Um, hello everyone. Good morning. I am Bea Perez from class of Chevron, and I am currently taking Avian Tourism course. So sa mga baby ko dyan, hi sa inyo. Um, talking about our elective. We know that Lyceum of the Philippines is one of the most known schools for tourism industry. It was seen did hard from the start. Learning this course, it involves practical exposure that requires real interaction with other people. However, Lyceum makes learning possible in an online world. They have proved that they truly deserve their title of being one of the top schools in Asia Pacific region, leading us, the students, toward a bright future despite the pandemic. In our specialization, we studied the tourism industry, which includes its economic, socioculturally, and environmental impacts. 
you will know how important it is in our economy and how it supports the small sectors for the development of our country. This kind of education offered by Lyceum benefit us, which helps to perpetuate our Filipino culture and values. We also discuss different career opportunities related to tourism, such as transportation, travel agencies, and accommodation sectors. Lyceum has become the key to opening the doors of opportunities to its pioneers. It's, its specialization in tourism develops competencies required by the industry as they are exposed to international internship and standards. A quality of education aligned with its vision and mission help us grow and become more promising students in various tourism hospitality sectors. Once again, thank you everyone. Thank you very much, Ms. Teres. Now we are going to move on to the next speaker. Take it away. So, unfortunately, wala si Ms. Trisha. Okay. So, let me read his con her concept. Uh, business management, it's about business management. Uh, you will encounter a lot of subjects that will reach you about business processes and the terms in the corporate world, such as fundamentals of accounting one and two. Business finance applies economics and business ethics, you will be trained to become future business leaders and entrepreneurs. Crafting your own business ideas and turning these business ideas into products and services that can be monetized. It's about making money. This business management is about making money. Okay, next, next slide, please. Ayan. So thank you so much, Ms. Kay Yanagasho, and to our special speakers for the information and personal experiences that you have shared. Nakakatuwa makinig sa experiences ng ating fellow Lyceans. So moving on, syempre hindi mawawala ang awarding of certificate. So next slide, please. So Ms. Kay, from the Lyceum of the Philippines University Manila Senior High School, this Certificate of Appreciation is awarded to Ms. K. B. Yanagasho for sharing her knowledge and expertise as a lecturer in the webinar entitled Learning Encounters at LPU Manila held on April 10, 2021 via Zoom. Given this 10th day of April 2021, Signed by the Senior High School License Go Advisor, Mr. Mark D. Dublin, Senior High School License Go President, Mr. Kyle Benedict Genovis, and especially our Senior High School Principal, Ms. Clarence Ella T. Alipio. Ayan, thank you very much sa lahat ng mga speaker natin. And of course, uh, si Ms. K, hindi na ata siya makakapag photo op. Kasi may something na problem daw sa camera niya. And Atera, what's the next? So, open forum and inquiries are now open. You may send your inquiries about LPU Senior High School admission requirements, offered senior high school strands, or any other questions relating to the presentation of the speaker. And by the way pala, no? Uh, meron pala tayo ditong tinatawag na My LPU app. Hindi lang tayo sa computer, kundi dahil kundi meron din tayong app na mas ano, tag dito, ano ba, mas mapapadali 'yung mga paggawa natin at pagpasa natin ng requirements dito sa LPU. Sa so, kapa, may apps tayo. Okay? So may kung may mga tanong lang kayo, guys, ayan, uh, wag kayong mahihiyang magtanong. Diyan, mag-chat lang kayo dyan para makita namin yung mga tanong. Thank you very much.
So by the way, Ate Ayra, bago natin ina ah, ah, ah bago ko habang inaantay natin sila, no? Na magtanong sila, ah, ano yung mga kinuha mo kanina? Ah, ano yung ano yung mga kinuha? Ano yung kinuha mo kanina? Yan. Kinuha? Oh, kasi ako ano ako eh, foreign language ako eh sa UBC. Ah, uh, STEM Health Science ako. Oh. So ano mga ginagawa doon? Sige, sige. Ah, uh, sa sa amin kasi ah, uh, parang yung major namin yung health science. So ah, uh, yung course namin in the future mga siguro magdo-doctor kami, ganun basta sa healthcare. Tapos ah, uh, yung ginagawa namin ngayong online class, yung ah, uh, meron kaming soft copy ng libro tapos sasagutan namin yon. Bale, identification siya kunwari ano. Parts of the body, kunwari, gano'n. Uh-huh. Tapos, identification siya. Tapos, may lesson din. Okay, okay. Sa amin naman, uh, basic na Hongo, foreign language, yung basic na Hongo, yun yung Japanese language. No? Uh, mga baby parts natin dyan. Yun yung tawag doon. Uh, siguro, bigyan ko na lang kayo ng example ng, ano, ng liba, ng Hongo. No, Hajime Mash, eh. Oh. Ito na nga, ito na nga, eh. Hajime Mash, eh. Uh, Watashi wa dated this. Yoroshi ko ni Gaishimas. Ayun. Hindi ko na, hindi ko na itatranslate kasi nakalimutan ko rin yung translation. Okay, so, ito na nga, no? Uh, yun yung, konti lang yun, wala pa sa 1% yung mga sinabi ko na matututunan nyo dun sa basic ni Hongo sa, sa Yums, okay? And, ito na nga, uh, since, ah, uh, The clock is ticking. Ayan, Mr. Chris J. Ayan, go it. Go for it. Go for it. May mga surprises pa tayo dyan, alam ko. At naririto na naman ako upang kayo ay paiyakin. Ay, este pasayahin. So, bagong lahat, no? nakakatuwa na maraming learning encounters o mga learning experiences ang na-encounter ng mga students from na mga Lyceans sa LPU. So especially ako, marami rin ako naging experience uh, like nagkaroon ako ng mga opportunities uh, bilang trans- transfer student ako. So maraming experiences ako na experience o so, na-encountered sa LPU. Like yung research, so sobrang dami. And like mention nga ni Miss K, yung mga teachers are very consi- uh, ano very considerate and under- understanding. Tsaka mayroon din tayong LPU, by LPU app na can be downloaded sa iOS and sa Android. So pag tamad ka mag-open ng laptop or ng computers, pwede mong gamitin yung laptop mo ay yung cellphone mo no? para mag-quiz, mag-exam. So very, ang daming mga opportunities na naghihintay sa inyo sa YCB. So huwag na natin patagalin pa. Sa tingin niyo ano sa tingin niyo ang lalaruin natin? Siyempre, maglalaro tayo ng bugtong-bugtong. Simple lang naman ang ating gagawin. Magbibigay ako ng mga bugtong at ang inyo lamang gagawin ay paunahang masagot ito ng tama. Okay? Huwag na natin patagalin. <laughs> Alright. So, bago ang lahat, uh, bibigay ko yung mechanics ng laro na ito. So, gaya nga ng sinabi ko, Paunahan lang kayo magsasagot ng tamang sagot at ang mananalo ay mag-uwi ng tumataging ting na premium GCash. Siyempre, saan po tayo sasagot? Maaari po kayong sumagot sa ating question and answer chat box or sa ating chat box. At huwag na nating patagalin pa. So, unang bugto. Kung kailan mo pinatay sa kapa humaba ang buhay? Paunahang sumagot. Mm. Okay. Ang unang nakasagot ay si Mr. Gary Batlanggao. Congratulations po sa iyo, kapatid. <laughs> okay. Congratulations to Mr. Gary Batlanggao. Siya po ay nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Ang tamang sagot ay Kandila. Very good. Okay. Sunod na bugtong. Dumaan ang hari, nagsikagatan ang mga hari. 
Okay, may nakakuha na ng tamang sagot. Si Miss Patricia Makanai. Congratulations sa'yo. Ang tamang sagot ay zipper. Ang bibilis naman ng mga kamay nito. Alright. So, ikatlong bugtom. Okay. Ang, ikat, ang ikatlong bugtong ng sumulpot sa liwanag, pulubot na ang balat. Ano kaya ang tamang sagot? Sagot pa, sagot pa po. Ulit, ang ikatlong bugtong ay nagsumul, nang sumulpot sa liwanag, pulubot na ang balat. Oh my God! Si, sino sa tingin nyo ang, ano, ang unang nakakuha ng tamang sagot? Muli si Miss Patricia Makanaig. Nakakadalawa ka na. Okay. So ang tamang sagot ay Ampalaya. Grabe nakakadalawa na si Miss Patricia Makanaig. Okay. So dumako na tayo sa ikatlong. Ah, ikatlong. Ano sa tingin ninyo? Ikatlong bukto. Ah, ikaapat na bukto. Okay. Ang ikaapat na bukto ay isang butil ng palay sakot ang buong bahay. Okay. Ang una pong nakasagot ay si Miss Micaela Descala. Congratulations sa iyo. Ang tamang sagot po sa ikapat na bugtong ay ilaw. Grabe. Dami na nananalo. Okay. So dumako na tayo sa ikahuling bugtong. Sa araw ay bumbong, sa gabi ay dahon. Muli, sa, sa araw ay bumbong, sa gabi ay dahon. Ano kaya sa tingin niyo ang tamang sagot? Alright. Nakakuha ulit tayo ng tamang sagot mula kay Micaela Discalar. So, ang tamang sagot ay... Ang tamang sagot ay banig. Grabe. Nakadalawa na si Miss Patricia Makanaig tsaka si Michaela Discalor. So, inahangad ko ang inyong na, uh, inahangad ko na kayo ay nasiyahan sa ating munting palaro upang makuha ang inyong premyo. Maaari kayong dumulog sa official na Facebook page ng SHS Lyceum Central Student Government o sa official na Facebook page ng LPU Manila SHS. At huwag ninyong kalilimutang pindutin ang like button. Maraming salamat muli. Ako si Ginoong Face J. Naniniwala sa kasabihang mag-aral ang mabuti upang ang buhay ay pumuti. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of the program. Ayan, thank you very much uh, Mr. Chris J. And may mga nagtanong dito sa Zoom. And sa mga nasa Facebook live natin, pwede rin kayo magtanong. Magpo-proceed muna tayo dun sa open forum since... Meron nagtanong. So, i-accommodate namin kayo sa abot ng aming makakaya. Okay, so meron tayong una, uh, meron tayong first question. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Bea Perez, po, uh, dito. Uh, first question from John. Why is the course psychology fall under STEM in LPU if is a type of social science? Should it not fall under Yums? Uh, anyone po? Hello, yes. So for that question, um, first of all, yung nabanggit po kanina ulit na specialization under STEM is health science and not psychology. Since as John mentioned, psychology is a discipline under social sciences, kaya hindi siya sakop ng STEM. Kaya ang na under ng STEM is health sciences and not psychology. So clarification lang yun na ang under ng STEM is health sciences and not psychology. Yun po. Ayun. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Kay. Uh, Ati Sel, at Tin, baka gusto mo yung basahin yung second question natin dyan. So, para sa second question natin from Sir Darren, despite the pandemic we are experiencing now, how do you students cope up with the effects of the pandemic in our personal lives? Anong dahilan bakit pinipili ninyong magpatuloy sa kabila ng mga challenges bilang mag-aaral gamit ang online setup which is new to everyone.
anyone but Pero ikaw, Ate Ira, since abang nag tayo ng mga ano, uh, ng mga sasagot, sa so tingin mo, ano experience mo? Sige, despite of this pandemic. Para sa akin, yung dahilan ko kung bakit nagpapatuloy pa rin tayo sa online learning kasi mas mas strong yung ano, yung yung dreams natin, yung gusto natin makapagtapos. Kaya, di ba kasi kapag may gusto ka, ah, uh, Walang balakid eh, walang walang makakahad lang sa iyo. Ganun. Mm-hmm. Ah, ako naman, uh, siguro uh, anong dahilan bakit pinipili ninyo magpatuloy sa kabila ng mga challenges bilang mag-aaral gamit ang online setup which is the new to everyone. Kasi ako, alam naman natin lahat na ano tagito, uh, gusto natin ng bago, no? Ah, uh, syempre, uh, hindi kumpleto ang buhay pag wala mga pagsubok. And I know, we all know that this pandemic is challenge to us, to our capacity to understand about sa mga lessons dito. And alam naman natin na nat-challenge no yung mga sarili natin. And of course, uh, hindi tayo papabayaan ng mga teachers natin. And ayun, uh, siguro uh, kaya ako nagpapatuloy na mag-aral kasi yun din, I have dreams. no At hindi ko hayaan na mag-stop ako dahil lang na mayroong pandemic, okay, hindi natin hayaan na mag tayo dahil lang doon kasi dapat tuloy-tuloy ang buhay. Sabi nga nila, na kapag may humarang sa iyong sibat, magpatuloy ka. You know? uh, third question. Uh, hi po, ask ko lang po, what kind of programs do the individual strands offer in, C- in LPU Senior High School? Anyone po? Okay, dun sa activities, uh, elective is one. Elective is one sa mga, sorry, ang daming nagdo-notive sa akin. Okay, uh, elective is one sa mga programs na meron po tayo dito sa strands ng LPU Senior High School. So yes, additionally... So yes, sabi nga pala ni Miss Irene regarding sa question about the specialization or individual programs, pwede ba natin gawin niya more specific para mabigyan po tayo ni Miss Irene ng mas magandang concrete answer? Thank you so exactly. much. Exactly. Thank you very much, Miss Kay. Pa-reply na lang po sa chat box natin yung revised question natin. Thank you again. Uh, may mga so, tanong pa po ba? Moving on to the next question from Marceline Toledo. How much daw po ang senior high school tuition? Uy, that's a very good question. <laughs> Four questions regarding tuition fees and other 
miscellaneous fees, naka-assign po dyan ang ating administration or ang ating admission office. So now, let us just wait for their answers. Okay. Sige, hi. This is JR from LPU Manila. I'll answer that question. Ang range ng tuition fee natin for um, LPU Manila Senior High School for grade 11 is nasa 60 to 70,000 for the whole year. Minimum down payment of 5,000 pesos. Flexible in terms of payment natin. It can be monthly quarterly, semi-annual. So very flexible din naman ang ating um, installment terms in LPU Manila. Ongoing din ang ating enrollment reservation. So for more information, please visit our website that's manila.lpu.edu.ph. Back to you guys. Okay, thank you very much, Sir JR. Okay, uh, mag-accommodate na lang siguro tayo ng one question na lang kasi clock is ticking. Okay, meron pa bang isa po, uh, isang question? By the way, uh, guys, idagdag ko lang, no? sorry to interrupt. Yes, okay. um, good um, um, good comment from Miss Irene. We do honor yung mga government vouchers, guys. So if you're coming from public or private school, please apply your voucher to the Department of Education. And then in the honor naman natin yan in LPU Manila, you just give us yung certification or your number of your voucher para ma-apply natin yan sa pag-enroll nyo sa LPU Manila. For more questions, you can visit always our website and our social media pages. And Jan ng LPU Manila, SHS, the Lyceum of the Philippines University Manila, and FB, Twitter, Instagram. And you may also email us at inquiry at lpu.edu.ph. So we are all online. Um, we are we can cater your questions, guys, regarding the admission or kung ano pa man yung mas matat matatanong natin para masimulan natin, masimulan nyo at makapagpatuloy tayo sa Lyceum journey natin. And um, that's it. If you have more questions, um, keep it coming. Go ahead, guys. Thank you. Ayan. Uh, thank you very much from our sixth question naman. Ito at Aina. Pwede nang tayong sumagot dito. Do you have any negative past e-learning experiences about sa mga websites natin? Uh, wala naman. Kasi okay naman yung connection ko palagi. Tapos... Mm -mm. Uh, Kapag ano, kapag kunwari, na, na brown out or nawala ng connection, mm -hmm. tas saktong may exam or online class, uh, considerate naman yung mga teachers. And mm -hmm. sa other negative experiences, so far wala naman. And minsan, ito, uh, to be honest, may mga ano kasi minsan nagka-crash yung LPU website kasi siguro dahil sa dami ng gumagamit. Pero uh, understandable naman yung mga teachers and nagbibigay sila ng information na about nag-crash yung AIMS natin yung, or yung MROOMS natin. And ayun, ayun yung mga experience ko. And hindi naman tayo pinapabayaan ng mga prof natin about that. Okay, seventh question. This is our last. Okay, seventh question. Ate Aira, can you read it? So for Lesson. our seventh question, what are the courses in college if we take the strand ng freehand and animation? Hello, hello. I'm back again. Hi again, guys. I am Krista. Ako po yung president ng elective na yan ngayon sa klase namin. And I do think um, with that question po ba, is it about um, the course na matitake sa LPU? or in general sa college because with ours kasi um, it is ensured that uh, ah yes the LPU I do know that LPU has a multimedia arts um, course and since nga sa freehand natin and sa animation basics yung tinuturo so parang mabibigyan na tayo ng foundation so kapag Sampan natin sa college with multimedia arts. We do know that multimedia arts have a lot under it. Pwede may animation, may graphic design, may film, may photography. Mas mahoho na tayo. Parang mabibigyan na kaagad tayo ng parang first lessons to from senior high school going straight to multimedia arts going to college. So definitely, even kami, yung mga nag-senior high school ngayon sa... Um, freehand and animation, pwede na kami dumiretso sa college sa LPU para tuloy-tuloy ang aming learning. So I hope that answers your question. Thank you. Ayan. Thank you very much sa lahat ng mga nagtanong sa atin. 
at sa mga sumagot. Ayan, gabi lang na yung sarili natin. Okay, uh, before we proceed to the second speaker for this event, let's first watch the intermission number prepared by our LPU Senior High School Bearers of Music Lab. Let's watch this. She just wants to be beautiful, she goes I know that she knows No limit, she craves Attention, she praises An image, she prays To be sculpted by the sculptor Oh, she don't see The light that's shining Deeper than the eyes can find it Maybe we have made her blind So she tries to cover There's a hope that's waiting for you in the dark You should know you're beautiful just the way you are And you don't have to change a thing, the world can change its heart No scars, you're beautiful, we're stars and we're beautiful Beautiful. 
Ayan, thank you very much sa intermission number. LPU Senior High School Girls of Music Club. Napapagal na ko eh, no? Ay, napapagal na ko eh, no? Okay, and now we'd like to call on our second speaker. Ate Ira, go ahead. He is... He is the LPU Senior High School ABM Student Academic Year 2018-2020. to Cathedral of Praise Team Ministry 2020-2021. Senior High School License Go President Academic Year 2019 to 2020. Senior High School License Go Business Manager Academic Year 2018 to 2020. Dream Achievers Group Assistant Trainer 2009. And of course, Diverty Hall Assistant Head Teacher 2014 to 2016. Soap Republic Overall Manager. He is none other than Mr. Joshua Eric Tan. Ayan po. Sige pa, ayan. Uh, good morning po everyone. Uh, ayan. Sige, let's wait for a slide one second. Yeah. Okay. So, good morning po everyone. Uh, I'll, I'll be speaking to you more about experience today uh, over our technical sides. Uh, yung kanina, napag-usapan na natin, lot more on the technical side of the LPU Senior High School. How? education is done and so on. So I'm speaking to you more on experience. Uh, if we could go to our next slide. Yeah. So uh, I want to only want to focus on the top four too, because I will be speaking on the, them eventually. Now, of course, uh, standard Shempre, I'm a senior high school graduate of the ABM strand. My elective is accounting now, or specialization in other words. Now, secondly, I, I'm a cathedral of praise team ministry as of now, what what is this? Uh, this is actually a, a program or something, something like a program we have in our church where we give one year of our time to the Lord. Parang full time coming for the Lord in for a year. Yon. So I'll get back to that later. And then, of course, senior high school, um, go ako for, for two years. Ayan. So can we move to the next slide? Ayan. So I want to talk about first our, what we call our core values here in senior high. We have what we call the LPU and JPL uh, core values. So what is this? First, we have, syempre, why I want to talk about this is, syempre, tayo being students, or maybe just my parents, saya, we want what's best for our children. We want our children to grow, diba? So also here sa ating core values, we Tayo bilang students, gusto na natin mag-grow as a person, di ba? So, how, these principles are things that we learn in life uh, as a they see and, and day by day, we get to improve in living them, living them up in our life. Yun. So, first, I want to talk about love of God. Yun. Um, best example I can give is that my decision to give my one year of my life to the Lord in full time in the team ministry ayon. but of course that's a individual choice now love of god we can see that throughout the university it's being advocated throughout the university through uh masses Meron tayong mga mga. the university provides masses inside the university um every now and then but now uh we also secondly we have professional integrity these are things we really learn throughout the class, throughout my, uh, sa mga teachers. When we converse with the teachers, we really learn a lot throughout professional integrity. In fact, there's a time where you really learn to be in you really learn integrity kapag nagkamali ka, and you have to own up to your mistakes. Yon. So there was that time as well na, na syempre, we're not perfect, nagkakamali din sa class, but you really have to own up. And eventually you years from now these these principles become uh useful in our life diba? in the workplace the workforce or so on yeah next unity the if you haven't if you've heard of the line what we tawag natin, ano, unity in diversity now 
the senior high school department has opened many opportunities for us to have teamwork what is what we would use now unity through through kahit anong differences natin as a person or different organizations, different class, different strands, we get the senior high school opens opportunities for us, opens ways for us to have um, teamwork with each other. So through events, through certain um, present presentations, may some may mga interclass na uh, ganap yung mga teachers. Yun. So through that, we can get to learn unity now. Next, we have nationalism. Of course, the school is, the university is founded by JPL, Jose P. Laurel, our, one of our <coughs> presidents before. Right? So we learn nationalism. And in fact, I have seen a lot of people myself that have this really high passion for the country, especially during my year the last ma the last year I was there 2020 uh makasabay ka ding umalis mostly from the college meron din sa senior high and you can see how they have they, their passion for the countries there their love for the countries there love for the people of the country diba? and they do things for the country yon uh, next we have justice of course we live these principles and makita natin sa ano the way the senior high school works they're they're kind as well mabait ang mga admin natin sa senior high but of course we all have what so the best example would be zero tolerance to bullying for me i've seen how the the discipline officer our dis discipline officer works uh, and and certain of course meron din mga times na some students do something wrong besides bullying. And we really take, uh, the senior school really takes that seriously. There, and ju justice, we're justice as a Jew. But as well, mabait din sila. Of course, we're kind to a certain degree. We're, um, what um, cases dito would be children, uh, well, youth or young adults, some, uh, depending on how you would uh, define them. But yon. Kumbaga, they're still learning. So the senior high teaches justice at the same time. They also still have a certain degree of kindness and mercy and grace. Diba? Yun. Now, perseverance. We personally para sa akin, we really learned a lot of perseverance through our classes, especially no big la kaming na sulpok sa online classes. Because kami yung batch na big lang na ipit uh, sa online class. Kala namin, one week suspension lang na classes. Biglang hindi na pala kami magkakita ever. So, ayun. Uh, the, but the good thing is, because during, nung nag-face-to-face -face classes kami, we have what we call Moodle Rooms or M Rooms. This is a, uh, I believe, na pag-usapan na earlier. So, we use this, ginagamit na natin, namin to nung face-to-face -face pa. Of course, it became, a, we had to adjust a bit nung nag-online kami. Pero, <clears throat> In our time, no, nag online kami. Due, due to, we really had certain things to adjust to. Uh, but of course, mabait din si senior in the sense that they really have consideration for uh, our internet problems during that time. Talagang maraming uh, problems in internet connections. And even till later in the months, nagahawal pa din sila. But of course, senior high was there to help them open to give them ways to catch up Ayan. so we learn perseverance here and then of course leadership uh napag usapan na din kanina yung mga organizations senior high organizations organizations natin so for we open a lot of opportunities for leadership throughout yung mga orgs from senior high school like license go the license central student government we have bearers of music club Cerberus Sports Club, League of Outreach Volunteers and Engaged Students, and of course, the Lesean Pioneers. All these meron mga uh, op opportunities for leadership, as well as a class. Even in our class system, meron tayong class presidents, class officers. So there, we also have oh, opportunities for leadership in our class system as well. 
if I'm not mistaken, the central student government also opened certain forms of leadership or positions for the students to as well join. Yon. Okay. So uh, if we can move to the next slide. Ayan. So here are some qualities I have noticed uh, that I want to focus on sa senior high. One, of course, adaptability. Yung, for me, the talaga yung pag-jump namin from face-to-face to, -face to, uh, to what you call this, the online classes, the online system. Biglang, there's, to a certain degree, we learn to be adaptable there. Of course, for the students and as well as the senior high school administration. At the same time, kahit nung face-to-face -face po kami, there were events, there were certain things where things don't go as uh, as well as you've planned, di ba? All, laging may ganun. And then, of course, we really see how the senior high school is adaptable there from our teachers. Ayan, sorry. Ayan. So from our teachers to <clears throat> to our students, merong, we learn to be adaptable. Yon. Next, of course, the pag zero bullying tolerance. We have, of course, resources. We have a lot of resources in the senior high. Uh, one would, most importantly, we have our library, Com Comlab Com actually would be one of the more prominent ones for me personally. Now the computer library, of course, right now we have access to it online, but during our face-to-face -face classes, we had access to this, well, the computer library where we get, we're allowed to use the computers to, <clears throat> to do certain things kapag may kailangan kami gawin PowerPoint, mga assignments na needs, na kailangan ng computer, yon. We just have to give our ID to them. And of course, better tayo our, our library itself. Pero now that we are on in our online, ano mga resources natin? A lot, you learn a lot of them na sa orientation, sa, sa library orientation. Pero we have a lot of online resources as well. We have around, I think, five, four to five um, online libraries from researches to actual to books, um, yon, marami. So it will pakapa ma pag yan sa library orientation eventually. Yon. And then, of course, opportunities. The LP Senior High School opens many opportunities. In fact, I was able to partake in a few of them, one of which being when I was sent to Baguio for a YMCA event. Uh, of gathering of small student leaders. So yun. And then as well, we are able to compete. Meron mga, naka-uwi kami ng mga, panat, ng mga awards during that time. Trophies for, so we're able to, as well as practice our extracurricular skills. They say, in fact, sa, sa Cerberus Sports Lab, they formed this event, they came up with this event that has been going on continuously for years. Uh, which is what we call the UBISC, University Belt uh, Intramuros um, Competition. It's a competition for um, for U Belt Universities. So that that is founded by our our Serbian Sports Club by in Sir Billy Natad. So we're we're proud for for that as well. And then of course. Important research, important yung research natin. Uh, the senior high school take looks at, at research in a very uh, high manner yun. because research learning to to learning how to do research really helps you open your eyes or changes your perspective in how you view things in life. And it the same is true with me. Uh, I have how research has changed my view in certain things in life. And in fact, as well, maram ding opportunity sa research. Uh, kay, if, I, if I'm mistaken, I see, <clears throat> sorry, uh, ang research natin is handled by Sir JC Espinola. Ayon. So he, he's, if I'm to say he's still the head, he's the head of the research department of the senior high. So he's, he 
ha, he looks into research in a high regard as well and opens opportunities for students to be sent out to countries even to present their research. So ayun. And then of course, uh, napag-usapan ni LPC organizations and of course, quality education. Now, we want the uh, bot uh, bottom line when we choose universities is, of course, the education level, the quality of education. Now, in senior high, we really, the senior high look, does their best to maintain quality education. In fact, during our face-to-face -face classes, nag sit in si Miss Clarence mismo, our principal. So, in certain classes. So, ayun, we... We do what we can to ensure quality education. In fact, I, if I'm not mistaken, the senior high school license go has a system in place to ensure to also keep track of quality of the education kapag may certain problems yon. So the quality of education there. So real, I, yung mga, ma, here's what I, those are the things that I can that I that are what I would say certain good qualities of the senior high school. Ayon. Now, uh, if we can move to the next slide. Ayon. So, I have just a few lines for you. Uh, some principles that I have in my life that maybe you can uh, live with as well. Ayon. So, first of all, those who do not fail are those who don't do anything in life. And that is the greatest failure. Now, very simple line, of course, I, I know you see a lot of negative words there in a fail and failure, but you can also turn it around and focus on being successful. And when you succeed numerous times in life, that means you're not failing. That means if you're succeeding, you're not failing. It's, really sim it's a very simple principle, but it really tells you na kapag hindi ka pumapalpa, that means you're not doing anything. That means you've stumbled, nag -stop ka. you stop progressing at some point. So you have to keep going onwards, keep progressing, yun. And don't let failure bring you down, yun. And then next one. Ayan, I'll, a verse two before I go. Jeremiah 8 verse four. Jeremiah, say this to the people of Judah. This is what the Lord says. You know, if a man falls down, he gets up again. And if a man goes the wrong way, he turns around and comes back. So, ayun. So, um, thank you for your time for everyone. That's all for me. And good morning. Thank you so much, Mr. Joshua. As of this moment, once again, open forum and inquiries are now open. You may send your inquiries about LPU senior high school admission requirements, offered senior high school strands, or any other questions relating to the presentation of the speaker. So, while waiting, Kuya Dave, let's proceed muna to the... Uh Awarding of certificate. Okay, awarding of the certificate. Okay. Uh, wala na ba? Wala na ba intermission number? Kapapaganan pa ako eh. <laughs> no, just kidding. Kidding aside, okay, syempre, di naman mo wala ang awarding of certificate natin. Kaya let me read the content, please. Ayan. Lyceum of the Philippines University Manila Senior High School. This certificate of appreciation is awarded to Mr. Joshua Eric Tan for sharing his knowledge and expertise as a lecturer in the webinar entitled Learning Encounters at LPU Manila, held on April 10, 2021 via Zoom. Given this 10th day of April 2021, uh, signed by our Senior High School License School President, Mr. Kyle Benedict Genovese, and of course, uh, Senior High School License School Advisor, Mr. Mark D. Dublin, and lastly, Senior High School Principal, Principal Miss Clarence Ella D. Alipo. So again, uh, thank you, Mr. Joshua Eric Tan. We are glad to have you. May we request to have a photo opportunity with you, Mr. Joshua? Okay, uh, okay na po ba? Uh,
Okay na po ba? Ayan. Hindi ko alam kung okay na eh. <laughs> Okay. Huwag kayo tumawa. Joke lang. Joke. Okay, form. Okay, uh, let's wait for the open forums. At uh, by the way, ulitin lang natin yung sinabi doon ni uh, Joshua about sa LPU and JPL. It's about love of God, L, P, uh, professional integrity, and letter U, unity, and uh, nationalism, J, justice, uh, P, perseverance, and L, leadership. Ayan yung mga uh, sum, okay na mahanap nyo dito. sa LPU. Okay, may mga tanong na po ba tayo dyan? Okay, so kung wala na, uh, Ate Ayra, baka may gusto ang sabihin. So, we at the Lyceum of the Philippines University Manila is sending our deepest appreciation to all our speakers for this event. To our fellow Lyceans and guests for being with us until this, in this event until the very end. To our dear guests, I hope you consider LPU Manila as your school next academic year. We would also like to take this opportunity to promote our school's Facebook page. Don't forget to like the official Facebook page of LPU and Lyceans Go. You may reach us via these official Facebook pages if you have more questions and other concerns. For more information, you may also visit our website at www.manila.lpu.edu.ph. You may also email Ms. Irene Cruz, irene.cruz at lpu.edu.ph. Okay, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng students. Future baby pirates natin dito na sana, sana makasama namin kayo sa susunod na academic year. Ayan. And of course, uh, dito, ayan, ito, uulitin ko lang yung sinabi ni Ati Tin na don't forget to like the official Facebook page of LPU and Lysis Go. You may reach us via these official Facebook pages if you have questions and other concerns. Dito nyo po ma-claim uh, ma yung praise nyo sa mga nanalo po sa bugtong-bugtong and sa early birds po natin. For more information, you may also visit our website at www.manila.lpu.edu.ph You may also email Ms. Irene Cruz, irene.cruz at lpu.ph Atera? So before ending our program, let us proceed to the closing prayer. Let's all bow our heads and feel the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your presence with us this day. As we depart from this space now, we ask you to bless us throughout the remainder of the day and guide us safely home. Do not let the learning and conversations of this gathering die, but instead, may they continue to ruminate within us and bear fruit in our ministries throughout the year, until we find ourselves together again. We ask this in the name of Jesus and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So before ending our event for today, we, we also invite you to sing with us the LPU hymn.
again to our winners. To get your prize, kindly visit our official Facebook page, Senior High School Lyceum Central Student Government. So dito kayo magme-message and don't forget to hit the like button. And we would also like to take this opportunity to promote the upcoming event of the Lyceum Pioneer. Uh, this is the Lyceum Pioneers' first ever campus journalism webinar. So, lahat ng schools, uh, you're all welcome to join our webinar. And this will be held on April 24, 2021 from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. to 12 p.m. via Zoom and Facebook Live. With the team of reviving the role of campus journalism in the digital age. This webinar will take place from 8 a.m. to 12 noon via Zoom, uh, April 24, okay? And we will broadcast live in the official Facebook page of LPU Manila Senior High School. Engage in journalism discussion courtesy of our guest speaker, Mr. Don Dave, Dr. Ventura of GMA Network, you know, incorporated and learn the fundamentals of campus journalism in the new normal. So, ayan, ini-invite po namin kayo. Open for all po to. Huwag po tayong mahiya na sumali sa mga opportunity natin. Ayan. Okay. Uh, wait. Alright. Uh, photo up. Okay. Uh, may we ask the all volunteers uh, dito po sa Zoom na mag-photo opportunity po tayo. And by the way, yung sa uh, April 24, it's all free. Free lang po yun. Okay? Uh, we invite the all panelists na mag-open ka po for the, uh, for the photo opportunity. Thank you. Okay, okay na. Uh, okay, uh, all right. This has been a very productive program. Always remember that learning continues even amid this pandemic. Thank you so much for your active participation. Sa lahat po ng mga sumali, maraming 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 salamat at sana yun nga, uulitin ko, sana makasama namin kayo next academic year. Always stay safe, healthy and fit, at kahit online, mag-aral tayo ng mabuti. Okay? This have been your host, Prince David. And Celestine Ira. And we are signing off. Bye guys. Thank you very much. <laughs>